I'm Momoko. Let's learn violin. Today I'll introduce you to the parts of the violin. On the bottom, this is a chin rest. This is a place where you put your chin when you're playing in position. There's two different types of chin rest. This is not common, but this is the one in the middle. Usually, it is like this. This is a normal type where you have the chin rest on the left side. Now, next is these four circular little ones are called fine tuners. These tune your violin. This technically, if you have four, it's technically for beginners because beginners usually use it with a uh, tune with the fine tuners. But as you get better and when you get a better violin, it usually is only one on the E string because E string is very hard. It's a very thin, it's the most thinnest uh, string. So it's hard to tune. So they have a fine tuner for that. It would look like this. Now, this one is called a bridge. A bridge is to hold up your strings. Now, depending on how much you want your strings above the fingerboard, you can make it higher or lower. You could always ask a violin store to adjust it. Now, these four are called peg. This is also to tune your violin, but a bigger range. And when you put in new strings, you also use the pegs and twist it. Now, there's four strings on the violin. It is starting from the right, it's E, A, D, and G. Usually when you get a new violin, it always comes with a string, but strings only last for about a couple months, depending on how much you practice. If you practice a lot, um, you would probably change it like once in three, four months. That is what I do. And for strings, there's different types of strings. For beginners, I believe Dominant is a most common brand, but I like to use Vision. And also, I would use a different brand for E string because E string is a little special, it's really hard to tune also. So I tend to use Possestral for that one. And those are the strings. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.